We're here at the Spallation Neutron Source at the Hybrid Spectrometer Instrument. HiSpec enables studies of single crystals uh, and allows us to ex uh, study quantum excitations. As a hybrid, this instrument combines features of a triple axis spectrometer, such as TAX at HIFER, and a direct geometry spectrometer, such as CNCS here at the SNS. The first axis is inside of this drum shield, which rotates just like the monochrometer shield of a triple axis spectrometer. However, the monochrometer function is taken care of elsewhere. The second axis is where the sample is placed. We have the same sample guidance as CTAX. We prefer either large single crystals or co-aligned single crystals. Because we're doing direct geometry spectroscopy, we can also study powders. We study our samples under a variety of extreme conditions, including temperature, pressure, magnetic fields, and electric fields. Unlike a triple axis, we have no third axis because we're gonna take advantage of the pulse nature of the beam. We have four and a half meters to the detectors. That's enough time for us to do the timing we need to distinguish between different final energies. 60 times a second, a short burst of monochromatic neutrons arrives at the sample. They're speeding at about a kilometer a second or faster than the speed of sound. Because we have both a wide area detector and timing, we can capture a large region in momentum energy transfer space all at once. That's what makes direct geometry spectrometers so effective. Like all direct geometry spectrometers, we employ a rapidly rotating device called a neutron chopper in order to isolate one or a couple of incident energies. The neutrons start at the moderator. They travel about 40 meters. In that time, the different energies have different velocities and they spread out. By the time they reach the chopper, we can phase the time opening of the chopper to select the energy we want. And by changing the time opening of the chopper, we can trade off between intensity and resolution. The neutron chopper is our real monochromer. Most direct geometry spectrometers do not have this first axis. Why does high spec? In part, it's because we have special polarization optics that allow us to filter and manipulate the polarization state of the neutron before it arrives at the sample and filter it afterwards. This allows us to do polarization analysis uh, and study both magnetic structures and excitations. Although a direct geometry spectrometer takes a larger snapshot in momentum energy space than a triple axis spectrometer does, a triple axis has more intensity at a single momentum and energy transfer. Therefore, the kind of experiment that you want to do determines which instrument you want to use. Now that you've heard about both triple axis spectrometers and direct geometry spectrometers, instrument scientists are standing by and ready to take your call.